up y'all it's cj moto and i am back it has been a while anyhow i hope y'all are doing well i'm heading out with the suron to the lakeview trails the secret spot and uh, i'm gonna do a little bit of ripping but man the sun's going down quick right now like it's super beautiful But anyhow, later in the year, the sun, after that daylight savings time crap, the sun goes down quick, and I do like it. So, uh, yeah, I enjoy the sun going down fast. I like the nighttime. But I uh, might get to try out the headlight a little bit. My main goal for today is I want to try out the uh, Race Face Chester pedals on my Suron X Black Edition. So that'll be exciting. That's like basically like a mountain bike pedal. And you can actually just buy the race face Chester and screw it right on, screw it right on to uh, right on to your Suron. Basically, you just take the other pedals off and you screw it on. The only problem is uh, certain stiffeners. You know, they they make those uh, beef up pole thing. It's like a stiffener thing that goes between your pegs and it makes it less flexy. Um, if you really have a tough landing, well, I couldn't fit that in there. So that stiffener is no longer in there. So it increases the odds of you uh, bending your mount for your foot peg, but they're really a lot tougher than people make them out to be. So that's cool. Uh, what else I'm getting, I'll be making a video about it probably, but I'm actually going to be getting a Yeti uh, SB6, which is uh, an amazing carbon fiber full suspension. Uh, six inch travel mountain bike. I'm super excited. It took me like two weeks. I had it custom built. I kept tweaking things and it's gonna be super sick. So anyhow, um, I highly, highly recommend if you guys are interested in mountain bikes, go to competitivecycles.com, which is also the same as backcountry.com. And they are just absolutely amazing. They will treat you so good. And I got like so many good deals. Um, but yeah, super stoked about that. Let's get out on the Suron and see how these uh, race face Chester pedals go for me. And if you guys are interested in some pedals on your Suron X, then um, check out the link in the video here. I put a link in the description. And it'll take you right to the pedals. You can at least check them out, see if you're interested. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right, All peace right, out. So there's the race face Chester pedals. We'll go see how they do. They got a super crazy amount of grip, I know that much. This should be fun. Let's turn our headlight on. Let me see real quick. One, two, one, two. This should work. All right, folks. So yeah, I got my other mountain bike I'm buying. Ooh, I can already feel they grip like, they grip a lot. But I think it'll be nice going between this bike and the mountain bike having these pedals. Oh my gosh, they built a new jump. Oh wow. I'll be damned. That's a freaking monster there. Holy heck. I think I'll hold off on that one today. It's Friday. <laughs> it is tempting. We'll come back to that on the Yeti. But yeah, this is definitely different. So your ankles can kind of move freely, but that's not a problem. Feels good so far. But you definitely don't have as much, uh, quite as much, it's just different. I don't know, it feels good though. Feet come off good, they go back on good. Dang, it's gonna get dark out here. This is gonna be interesting. One, two, three, four. This is gonna be interesting. I mean, we got plenty of light. That's not a problem. This just looks weird because I haven't been out here after the sun starts to go down. Now, I just don't know if I would recommend switching to these, these Chester pedals. I mean, it, does, it feels good, but it's different. If you're used to a bicycle feel, then it would be good. Ah, man, my knee, getting old. You just have these weird, I have these weird aches. I definitely have one in my knee right now. 
Yeah, I'm super pumped to get the Yeti mountain bike out here and just do some regular mountain biking. That should be a lot of fun. And these pegs are definitely a different feel, I'm telling you what. It's not night and day difference, but it's, it makes this bike feel like a different thing. It almost, it feels more like a mountain bike just because you have those bicycle pedals on there. Kind of interesting. It feels like they're a little narrower, so you got to kind of keep your feet in more, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But you you got to keep your feet in on them. But if you're switching back and forth between bicycle and this, I think this would be a good way to go. And it also allows the bike to kind of move around underneath you more because, like, you can have one, you can have one foot kind of. They can go. Your feet can do this, which feels kind of interesting. I'll tell you one thing, you don't want to hit them on your shins. That's for dang sure. But anyhow, I hope y'all are doing awesome. I love bringing you out here for rides. And I can't wait for you guys to see my new rig I got built. Man, it is awesome. Ah, it's got the Industry 9 Hydra wheel. It's a brand new Yeti SB6 frame that I picked up for like, normally they're 3,800 bucks when they were new. Now they're now I got that one brand new for like 2469, which is a huge, huge discount over new price because it's a leftover model, which is exciting. Do our little jump here, our drop. Ah, yeah, good shit. I feel like having these pedals on here makes me want to be kind of more active on the bike and I don't really know why exactly but you just kind of feel more connected to the bike and it stops you from getting lazy and it kind of makes you want to stand up more. I think because your my body thinks that I need to pedal. It's a weird sensation because I've never rode a motorcycle dirt bike type deal with actual bicycle pedals on it. And I just got these new shoes, the Morels. Man, they're sweet. God, this bike's just so much fun. Ooh, oh, these trails are so gnarly. Sometimes they just feel more gnarly than others. But it all depends on how, what kind of rock mood you're in. Are you in the mood to be rocked and rolled? Cause it is freaking, some of these trails are just so, uh, so many tree roots everywhere. And I can tell I haven't been on the bike for about a week and a half. Like I'm getting, I needed to get back on the bike for sure. Man, it feels good to be back on the bike. The only thing to consider here is if you uh, clip lots of trees, cause sometimes I'll clip trees with my pedals. They fold back normally. But with this, you're not going to have any fold back. So that's, I don't know. <laughs> that's really going to make me uh, stay away from them trees. But it is a lot tighter, so that should be fine. But I do have the habit of sometimes I'll lift the leg off and I'll somehow end up hitting my pedals against the tree, but not hit my leg. So on a mountain bike, if you clip a tree, you have that same issue. Nothing's folding back. You just got to stay away from the trees with your feet. Oh, we got a puppy. Okay. Woo, that was kind of scary. Come here, boy. All right. Luckily, he's friendly. I'm guessing is. Woo. So that's scary when that happens. But he has a leash on. I'm sure he's with somebody. Thank God he was friendly. And he's like trail running. That dog is straight up trail running. That was a little freaky. I was like, I'm about to get attacked. That would have paid for my Yeti. I'd have it all on film. Now with my luck, his owner probably has like $18 in his account. Yeah, not gonna be able to do that on a real mountain bike back here very easily.
We've hit 30. Whoa! <laughs> we slid her in, baby. <laughs> but yeah, these pedals feel interesting. Like I said, if you're switching, I know I've said it a million times, but if you're switching back between like mountain biking and this, this would be a great feeling. If you want to have a different feeling, this would be great. And then if you just want to have pedals on there for whatever reason, this would be great. But yeah, the Chesters are a really nice pedal. You can look at them again. They're a really nice pedal. They're composite, but they're made by Race Face. So they have the same bearing system and everything in them as the high-end, like $120 pedals, but they're only like 50 bucks. So you can't beat that. On my new bike, I got rental, uh, rental 40 millimeter rise bars, and I stuck with the 31.8 millimeter stem, but I got a rental apex. So that way, if I want to, because this is a 31.8 on this bike, uh, if I want to, I could switch my bars back and forth and try the Pro Taper High Rise, three inch high rise, which is like super high. It's like 70 millimeters or more. I could try that on my new mountain bike that's coming, but my, my rentals are pretty sweet. They're gold. So they're gonna be blinging. So I'm super excited, man. I'm excited to take you guys with me on my adventures. It's gonna be a turquoise Yeti. Those of you that know mountain bikes, you know that like, I pretty much just went for the Ferrari of mountain bikes. And the SB6 had a very storied and long history. Richie Rude won the Enduro World Series on it, or the Enduro World Cup, whatever you wanna call it, mountain bike enduro racing. That bike won it multiple times. So it's a world-class race machine. And I'm sure it'll be even faster in the dedicated and disciplined hands of CJ Moda. Ah! We're going to be out there with it. We're going to be getting it, baby. But we're not going to crash it because it's got a carbon fiber frame and I don't want to... It's got a lifetime warranty, but if you crash it, you got to pay a crash replacement fee. And I'm not down with that, dog. So we're not gonna ride it quite like we ride this one. We're definitely not gonna ramp over any rock gardens. We're gonna stay away from rocks altogether. So this place will be perfect. But yeah, you don't take a Ferrari and just run it through a rock garden, dog. Sorry. Get an aluminum mountain bike for that. Woo. Well, we're gonna be out here in the, in the nighttime, the night, I'll just keep this thing rolling. You guys can watch all this. I'll just be talking. You'll be watching, drinking. Drink a beer with me, man. Crack up a yingling. Have a yingling, a shiner box. Have something. Ooh, I got some bars. But come drink with me, man. I'm not drinking now, but, you know, I enjoy a cold one. Grab one open and talk to me. Make a comment in the comment description section of the video. Like, share, and subscribe with all your buddies. Man, share the love. Oh, look at that. These pedals are nice, man. Woo! They feel good. You can throw the leg off of them just the same. Putting them back on is good. Ooh, I was back over the seat, like, squirreling around like a little fancy, man. <sighs> yeah, I went with a size extra large frame because I'm 6'2". I went with an extra large frame on the Yeti. So, it's gonna be plenty big enough. I had a guy who was really cool from Idaho. Boon Cycles or something like that. He was super awesome, man. He helped me out with so much information. And he said the SB6 is just a rocket ship of a bike. And it'll be able to do trails, single track, downhill. I can take it to bike parks, race it on, or ride it on bike parks, which are like, basically, if you guys don't know, it's like a ski resort when they shut it down. You take a ski lift, and then you just drop down it. Oh. So it'll be good for that, it'll be good for whatever. Ooh, it feels good. Now, I think these pedals do kind of make you go quicker in a way. I also have the new shoes finally, the hiking shoes. The Morels, and they're making, they're feeling a lot better. But it's also weird because I don't have the ankle support of the boot I was wearing, so that's part of what I'm dealing with here. It's all about having fun, folks. If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right in life in general. Somebody's grumpy telling you how to live, they can kiss your ass, man. They're the grump. You don't need that negativity. You know what I mean? 
Oh yeah, baby. Woo! <laughs> yes! Sir, I'm not getting rid of this thing. Unless someone wants to buy it for like $7,000 decked out like this. And, and pay to ship it. It's staying in the stable, baby. I'm going to put Yeti stickers on it, too. It's going to be called the SP 6.9. Man, I'm hauling balls today, guys. It's like, I'm feeling it. Ah, I'm freaking feeling it, dog. We're moving. Ah, hope we have enough exposure. Ah, oh, man. We just cream. Ooh, we really threw that turn. We're hang, letting it all hang out there for y'all today. Ah, attack the trail. Ah, attack the trail. Got to attack the trail. Ooh. These leaves are just, we're drifting through it. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, that got a little scary. I decided last minute that that turn wins. These are not like trails I'm really used to at all. I don't know that I've ever been on this part of this one. I don't even know what trail I'm on. I don't pay attention. I just ride. I'm going to start paying attention when I have to pedal all this. I'll tell you that for sure. If there's anything you guys want to see about the Saron, okay, so right there for the first time I caught the edge of the foot peg when I put my foot back on, and it just rolled right over, no problem. It just kind of rolled itself into place. I haven't had my feet fall off at all. Like I said, these pedals have some damn lugs on them, so your feet ain't gonna go anywhere. That's for sure. This is the second most powerful out of four settings for the Fisher Fab House light. So here's Fisher Fab House in all of its off-road glory on the second highest second heaviest duty setting and it's working great working just great folks let's see how many miles we've rode so far oh i just ow 2.6 miles in so far started out at 99 percent battery i'm at 85 percent now but i uh, definitely used some battery doing some wheelies the other day just a little bit But yeah, the moto brakes on the mountain bike are gonna be cool because my rear brake's still gonna be my left hand. So I don't have to worry about hitting the wrong brakes out of confusion or forgetfulness. Which, you know us men that are in their 30s, they can be forgetful. And I don't want it to cause me to crash anything. It's all about that muscle memory. So yeah, if you guys ride dirt bikes and mountain bikes, set up your mountain bike brakes moto style so your rear brake's on your left and your you could do that. It's 2020. You can have your brakes wherever you want them. Ah. What an awesome trail. This trail system is so much fun. Maybe we'll see a deer. Ah. All right. Slowing it down a little bit, just taking in the scenery. Like I said, guys. Crack open a cold one, spend some time with me here. I wish I knew what you were thinking. You're probably thinking I want one of them Surons. So, like I said, if you're super rich and you just have the means and you're like, man, I want his Suron, hit me up. Cause you know, the only way I would sell this thing is just for like a donation, like, you know, you'd pay top dollar for this thing, basically. It's in beautiful condition, but everything's for sale on this channel all the time. If you've got all the money in the world and you want to donate to the channel, hit me up and you can pay top dollar and you'll help us both out. You'll help my channel out. I'll buy something else cool with the money. You know, it's always nice to have something new, but I'll tell you what, I would miss the, I don't think I could part with this bike. I would really seriously miss this bike. There's nothing, you can't get this experience anywhere else. You can't, these trails can't even be ridden on, on motorized machines like a four wheeler or a dirt bike that makes noise. But the owner of these trails gave me permission because this is such a unique machine. This is such a unique experience. And we're sharing this unique experience with you guys. And I feel very, very fortunate 
to have the ability to share this with you guys and you just never know how long that type of ability will last um, so thank you guys Gotta stay out of these trees and it should last a lot longer don't miss any of these bridges stuff like that i really hope the lighting's okay you want to crank this light up a little bit guys let's go one two three four hang on i got it mounted weird so one two three four there you go that should be maxed out brightness that sucker is bright right there it's almost so bright that it's too bright kind of weird when it's still light out a little bit but at night it would probably be killer if you really wanted to blind every animal in the woods The fish don't fry in the kitchen. The beans don't burn on the grill. Ooh, I just I just tapped my handlebar. Didn't even see it coming. You gotta be careful at night. Like it's a little different story seeing all these little things with your depth perception when it's dark out like this. Especially when you got like daylight and this this other light. Ah. But yeah, it lights her up. I will give it that. And it kind of it gets right in there with you when you're turning. You can see it. Nice wide beam and just bright as shit. I don't know what else to say about it. This light's bright, guys. I'm sure if this light wasn't hooked up to your Suron battery, it would drain some serious juice, but it's so insignificant on this monster battery on this thing. Never drains it like at all, hardly. You wouldn't even notice it. I mean, maybe it does a little, I don't know. But this thing's so powerful, it actually heats up so hot that sometimes it has to turn itself down if it's like in the summertime it has to turn itself down to the last setting which is crazy look at that oh god what am i doing Jeez. lots of leaves gotta be careful how fast can we go Woo, 36 god that's dangerous don't do that we just did 36 in the woods. Yeah, you don't need to go any faster than that in the woods. Kidding me? Yeah, I'm pretty certain if I if I smack one of these pegs against the tree, it's gonna bend the mount for the it's gonna bend the the mount that they go to, which is okay. You can replace those, but I'll probably be ordering an extra one or two because they're out of stock a lot. And I really like how this feels. I'm probably just gonna roll with it, man. It, it just I think it'll be great for switching back and forth. So how was y'all's week? Comment in the comments below. What what do you guys want? What are you guys looking at? What are you dreaming about? What's your life goal? Adventures? What's, what you up to, guys? What's popping? Whoa, what's popping? Oh, whoo, we wheelie down the hill like it was our job. Now the thing's just wheeling like a freaking beast. Like it's wheeling everywhere. It's like, oh, I want a wheelie. Let me wheelie, Dad. Alright son, wheelie! Just be careful. Oh, be careful, I promise I won't crash. We just put it all out there, Dad. Alright, put it all out there, boy. Go on, go on. Let it hang out. Just dig it. Ah. Oh, yes, this video is going to be retardedly long. Real long. So Donald Trump lost the election. The political ones are getting on this channel because I don't care. I don't care. I just want to ride my bicycle. Uh, I'm not going to spend my time worrying about things I can't change. Focus on the things you can change. Uh, what can you change? You can change how fast you ride through the damn woods, dog. You can change how many times you don't hit a tree. If you guys enjoy my content, hit me up, CJ Moto, Facebook. Like, share, and subscribe. Oh, I'm about to get out of here and try to figure out how to get out of here for real soon because, you know. 
Oh, they think he's doing a Friday night too, right? No? I guess not. Um, but maybe. <laughs> hey, y'all mind your own business. Oh, we got that back tire off the ground there, folks. We're doing about 135 miles an hour through these woods right here. Reminds me of when I was going to Arkansas. Well, I grew up Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, folks. Amish country. Smoking them cows, riding them dirt bikes. Ah, drinking that beer. Oh, beer. Oh, oh. Ah, ah, nearly through there. We just get on down with it. Rop, rop, rop. 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 Ain't gonna be riding like this on a damn mountain bike through here. Woo, promise you that. Boy, this light's awesome, guys. I don't know how long this video is so far. But we're rocking it. We're having fun. Oh. Okay, that's where you hit your pegs. That's where you say you bent your peg at. Keep that front rear front brake on lock, baby. Keep that sucker there for you. Oh my god. Ugh. Well, y'all, the bike did awesome tonight. We're out there in it, baby. We're in the woods. I love y'all. I'm gonna get back out of here in a little while. I'm just gonna sit down and chill out and relax, man. Thanks for coming along for the ride. Please subscribe to the channel. Peace out, guys.